Hey guys, and welcome back to Project Ozone 2. So, last episode I ended up making a couple of Magnetocraft multi-blocks that I had no idea what they do, because I've never played with mag Magnetocraft, and then also found out that the big one we made at the end is basically useless to us at the moment, because it requires petrothium. And uh, to go into why that's annoying is because the only way we can get petrothium is by liquefying petrothium dust. And this petrothium dust requires basalt powder. And uh, the only other way that you can get basalt powder other than farming basalt is uh, to inject obsidian dust with destabilized redstone. So not the uh, most useful machine ever. However, there is other tasks that we can do to finish out um, the Magnetocraft path on this and we should we should finish this out but then i think in order to try and progress through um and find more things to do oh my gosh i totally didn't realize this scrolled <laughs> we've got theta open to us which requires to the clouds we should go to the um aether today shouldn't we all right well uh, if we can manage it i need the glowstone though which probably means trip to the nether but that's not too bad so so, 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 so. Finishing off the last couple of quests for the Magnetocraft stuff. Thermopower requires a thermopile, which requires a machine casing, a couple of carbine ingots, and some copper heat coils. I already took a look at what the recipe requires for the heat coils. It's just a 2x2 two two of the respective metal. So, and then we need two more of you. And... Iron, one, two, three, four, five, six. So like this, and like this. And then we need machine housing, which I might have one spare. No. All right, um, that's fine. We need four more iron then, and a bit of stone. And a bit of Stone. Oh, I've already got it on me. <laughs> um, then the pile. Right. That's you. And then I guess now we just do that. So that's thermopile done. Middle bag always. Good. Good bag. Okay. Uh, 44 heart glass. <laughs> Not sure what we'll do with that, but okay. Uh, I'm not that big into pink. I'm not a pink girl. Um, turbine. This sounds more interesting. Uh, so we'll need a turbine control, which requires three alternators. Tell you what. This is a very going to be very craft heavy, it looks like. So I'll come back once I actually have all the bits. No, I won't. We don't have enough lapis. We're going to go lapis hunting. And the best place I know to do that is in the nether. So I'll join you once I've found some lapis. What I think I'll try and do while I'm in the nether is knock out a blaze now that we have these. Um, because that's also one of the quests that we have to do in Alpha Mob Hunter. Blaze, magma cream, spiders. Alright, I am back, and as you can see, I've used more than half of my throwing daggers, um, because I got quite busy. I've got two legendary loot bags, rare loot bag, a couple of uncommon. I actually made one of these legendaries, because of course you can stack um, loot bags as you get them. i got the ten nether lapis that I need, um, and I also got some glowstone, which we'll need to get into the other this episode. So busy busy. Um, I'm going to just throw that on the ground temporarily. I also got some ectoplasm which we'll do something with right now actually. I just need to drop off some of this junk so that I can fit things in my inventory because I'd like some more toast sandwiches. Right, so uh, where do we start? I think we start by putting some junk away. Wrong box. This one. Here we go. Uh, and just put 
put this in other sorin chests that I've got laying around. Initio essence can go in here. Carbide ingots, these all can stick with me because I need to focus on that. Materials in you. I don't know where I got that from. Right. Loot bags, huh? Let's start with the uncommon ones. I could keep these and upgrade them, but I feel like opening them. Got another ender, because I think we already have a couple of enders somewhere. Nope, we only have one. We did get another ender pearl, which is always nice. Uh, I guess you can go in there. Except now that's full. And this one, more dust, iron and an overgrowth seed. In you go. In you go, in you go. And rear, boots, crank, gunpowder. I like how that's rare and the uncommons were actually giving us better stuff. I will burn up all of this. And the pumpkin seeds, goodbye. Um, eh, door. <laughs> yes, I'm blaming the door. And the legendary loot bag have... Oh my gosh, is this, is this it? Is it, is it that they're in reverse? Because they seem to be in reverse. The Uncommons actually have okay stuff in them and Legendaries had literal junk. Um, we can actually see what everything contains. Because if we say uses, uses, oh, we can't. We can't in this version. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I would need a plugin for that, but there is a plugin which lets you view what the loot bags can drop. And apparently, ours drop terrible stuff. So, ectoplasm. What I want to make is a spectre iron, which is nice and just in inventory craftable. And then, using that spectre iron, I want to make a spectre key. Spectre key. And do I have a stick laying around anywhere? Doesn't look like it, does it? Okay, now we do though. Spectre key. Okay, so this thing is pretty cool. Hold right click till you see particles. And then eventually you will download terrain. And now we are in our own little spectre box. It's kind of hard to see and I imagine it's even worse on YouTube so let me mark it out. Corner one, corner two, corner three, corner four. You can see it better on my mini map and there's corners up there as well. But this space is our spectre space and I don't think, I think these are completely indestructible. So this actually gives us a room that we can open chance cubes in if we are prepared to die. But it's also a safe space. So um, we can come back here, we can set up some power gen or something like that in this place and some machines and anytime we're out adventuring we can actually zip back to that spectre room and have access to uh, our little private home. Right, if it's lazuli or let me see how much I can get out of this. 40 is a nice amount. I'll probably have more to spare after this because I do have my, uh, my picks up to Fortune 2 now. Um, oh yeah, and the Constantine daggers leveled up twice while in the nether. The first one got us repair plus a modifier and the second one got us sharpness plus a modifier. So... Um, I'll probably spend both of those modifiers on more sharpness. But we got a couple of stacks of lapis. Oh, a couple of stacks. We got more than a couple. Jeez. All right. Um, that's a problem because we're so so out of space in this place. Okay. So. I need eight redstone, three times. 
So we need 24 lapis. Yes, that's how I count things. <laughs> it works for me. I don't, I've, I've gone over this in previous episodes before. I don't have a brain for arithmetic. Give me a calculator and I'll be happy. But, um, and I can easily do math then, even advanced mathematics, but my, I just don't, I can't do arithmetic very easily in my head. Um, so what I was needing that for is if you'll remember the alternator requires item magnets which require blue dye um, which we don't have in any other form other than lapis. So that is why we needed those and I also need six iron. So I'll get back to crafting this stuff and I will return. Alright I return and I should have everything we need to build this thing. So uh, it's night time though. Right, multi-block time. I have no idea where this thing is going to go. Let's just keep the line going, I guess. Uh, turbine control. Oh, I'm going to need a lot more multi-block chassis. <laughs> I said five multi-block chassis. I'm going to need a lot more than five. Uh, but... We can put some stuff in at the moment. One, two, and we need tanks on the sides. And we need that medium voltage input here. And then the rest is multi-block chassis. Forever and ever. Okay, let's put down as many as we can, I guess. Try and get under here. There we go. Okay. So, a lot more. I will return. Twenty-seven chassis. That should do it. I think that's more than enough, actually. So we just do this, and it was two. Right. Two more layers. Yep. Two more layers. And that should complete it. So when I right click this thing, we get a steam turbine. Well, I, I, at least I think that's what this is. <laughs> Got to fill these tanks with steam, I take it. Which is what this is for. But where are the inputs? Because that looks like a chimney on top. Are they underneath? Is that what we're about to find out? No, it doesn't look like they're underneath. Oh, maybe. What's that? Sweet, level up. No, that's just some sort of gap. Uh, probably should put this back the way I found it. Since the sand is actually... Uh, when I filled this place in to flatten it out, um, a lot of it was built on top of the sand. So there's exactly enough dirt to cover it back in. Um, right. How? Maybe the book tells us. Maybe the book tells us. Task was nope. Does not. Uh, but we will claim our middle bag as usual. Which is a greater bag. That's nice. Rolled up newspaper and whetstone. That whetstone. Apply to tools using an anvil. Alright. <laughs> Both those things don't seem like greater rewards, but I think we're finding out more and more that uh, the rewards, apart from the best possible tier of rewards, are awesome. Um, right. Well... I would like to hook you up, but I don't know how to hook you up. Let's take a look on top. That's where the power comes out. That's not a chimney. That is not a chimney. Do you pipe it straight into the tanks? Maybe you guys can help me out. I'm going to leave that 
You guys can leave a comment telling me how you use the steam turbine because it doesn't seem pretty straightforward to me. Um, and I would rather not spend all the episode goofing around trying to figure out how to make it work. Um, so I'm going to put this stuff back for now. And we will progress on to the Aether, which I now have this, which we need 10 of you, and I will keep the glowstone for later. Okay, so we also need a water bucket. And we will build a portal. And I think, appropriately, we'll build the, this portal across from the nether one. Although, actually, I think that the aether is harder than the nether. Uh, yeah, three block space. That looks good. Yes, I'm digging the dirt with a... Someone said that uh, I have got direwolfitis which is that I've started using wrong stuff to dig dirt intentionally and uh, I'm afraid you might be right I might have got the direwolfitis infection so I'm gonna try and fight it as best as I can and I'm sorry if I uh, fail water bucket okay we have an aether portal yay so that should complete Theta. Wow, that noise overpowers the nether one, huh? Oh, really? I actually have to be holding the... And they also intend that the portal... See how it wants 14 glowstone? Means that they intended that the portal has um, a corners filled in. That's very inefficient, guys. So, 14, right, now you should be happy. Give to me this, glowstone ingot, uh, comes from mechanism, lets me make some useful stuff, looks like, also lets me make something to get to the Erebus, I think, which is this, I think, I think, yeah. Right, I think it's both of those things, actually. So let me put those away. I'm also going to put this away and this away. You. You. Now I've got glowstone blocks. <laughs> Forgot to look at the reward bag. Vacuum chest. That's actually useful. That will come in handy. Um when we finally do a mob grinder, which it's going to be at some point, I promise. So I'll put that away. Yes, I'm stalling. Okay. Why do I have a golden sword? Right, because I was fighting pigmen. Okay. I think, I think that's all we need. Let's go to the other. Hostile Paradise achievement get. Nice greeting sound. <laughs> Let's do the first smart thing, shall we? No, that's not the smart thing. This is the smart thing. Uh, new portal home. Yellow seems appropriate for this dimension, so we'll leave it as yellow. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a flying cow, first of all. Some of this stuff does not surprise me because I've played um, Aether 1 before it became Aether 2. I'm not familiar with Aether 2 though. We have Skyroot. I think Skyroot and Golden Oak can be used to make cool stuff. Um, let's take a look. Oh, first of all, you can make a Skyroot chest. I guess that's nice. Incubator, right, because you can make your own little chocobo type things. Sky bookshelf, sky root pick, sky root pickaxe. 
um, it has its own progression, the Aether. So, where do we go from here? We want to go to a labyrinth. Too dang easy. We want to get the clouds, the different kinds of clouds, one of each. We want to go to the labyrinth, which will require killing a labyrinth eye, a sentry guardian, a slider mimic, and a slider. Uh, and we will also need to the bug dimension, which will require we make a staff of Gaia, a Gaian keystone, and some stone bricks. So, uh, where to start? I guess the best place to start would be getting the clouds, the different kinds of cloud. Um, but let me take a look at what we also need to grab while we're here. We need enchanted gravitite, which means we'll need to, doesn't have a recipe, so I guess we'll need to dig that out of labyrinths. We will also need xanite gemstones, which you can get by digging around underground. And a Gaian, Gaian? Offering altar, Gaian gem, diamond, emerald, obsidian. Whoa. That was you. These things, poison birds. They shoot like poison darts at you. As you can see, now I'm poisoned. It's awful. Get out of here. We also have an angry cloud. Get out of here, angry cloud. I think we're, because of the combination of mods, <laughs> We are way overpowered for this place. So, uh, it's more like a tourist attraction, I guess. Get out of here. Get stuff while we're here. So, the nice birds are kind of like the dart birds, except, um, they don't shoot darts. And the nice birds, you can take their eggs and grow your own bird which you can use as a mount to get around if i remember right i think this is one of them here hi friend moa uh what do moa eat do you reckon what do moa eat white flowers Ow. It's nice to see that there is some of the mobs from the overworld here, though. I'm wondering how they pulled that off. I think those are mobs from the overworld, anyway. What are they dropping? Nitre. Yeah. They're the exact kind that we needed to get all that time ago, so uh, we maybe should have just come straight to the, the Aether, huh? Heather? Aether? I'm really not sure what the correct pronunciation of that is. Probably sounds even more ridiculous with my uh, accent. Here's our first cloud, though. Hopefully. Whoa, hi. We'll just uh, stealthily murder all of these. They won't notice. They never knew what hit them. Okay. So that is cold. Cold ether cloud. Got more evil poison birds out of here. There's also these plants, if I remember right. They're like... They look harmless enough until you get close to them, and then they totally murder you. Those are mowers. We don't want to. Don't want to throw a knife at them. We have glowing. Ah, oh, and there's a chance cube. Tempting. Tempting. But uh, mm. I might not want to spoil the nice scenery right now, which that will inevitably do. <laughs> Oh, okay. Look, since you got two of them in quick succession. Yes, I'm getting ready to run. I hear you like chance cubes, so I put some chance cubes in your chance cubes. I don't know what that did. 
I dropped a bunch of chance cubes. Okay. In a place like this, I don't mind opening chance cubes because, again, it's not my base. Whoops. Didn't mean to kill you, sheep. Those sheep, by the way, they can jump really, really high. And they do frequently. Ah, uh, here's these evil plants that I was talking about. We're gonna just preempt them. Right, evil plant? We got some wind berries from him. Yeah, these are seemingly the worse the bag is, the better it is. So that means common would be awesome? No. It means there is no rhyme or reason to it. Okay, that's fine, I guess. I'd really like daytime though, so I can see better. Here's a new kind of cloud. We've got blue air cloud. This one seems you really high. Ow. Ow here, Stormy. Right, so we got blue, we got cold. We need a whole bunch of other ones. <laughs> Very cool. This place is absolutely charming. I love it. Do I really break this? Is that? Yeah, okay. Got some oranges. Got some blueberries and some oranges. Purple crystal leaves. It has sky root in it. At some point, I guess that's because of the diamond durability that went on it. We have more ammo now. Which is nice. Here's some yellow clouds. Well, the other reason I'm wandering aimlessly is because eventually we'll spot a labyrinth. Which will be very important to us. Uh, in terms of moving along in the Theta branch. Oh my god, how am I meant to reach that? I think I'll try and reach those ones over there instead. Hello, evil plants. Are you okay, slime? You're acting weird. Loaded. Okay, super special blueprints. Arc furnace electrodes. Oh my god, that's actually amazing. Um, because that will allow us to make an immersive engineering. What the heck? That will allow us to make an immersive engineering blast furnace. Um. You can't normally use one of those unless you have electrodes. So green, green aether cloud. Why didn't that drop? Because I broke it with my weapon. Okay, so we have the green aether cloud. So I'm really confused about loot bags. They're either amazing or terrible. <laughs> It doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to it. Um, I guess there, the terribleness is so that in the early game you can't just skip a bunch of content. I guess. All right. So these are cute little bunnies, and we are going to kill one just for fun. They drop string. They also jump. Like the sheep. Everything here is floaty and jumpy and cool. So, now that it's daytime, we can move with a little more authority. I think at this point, uh, I've talked about Aether enough that you guys have an idea of what's happening right now, and I should just get on with it. So I'll be back once I've collected a few more clouds. Okay, I found a weird evil looking mower. I don't, I wish I knew what you meant to feed them. Maybe it's the wind berries. By the way, that's the evil plants. The other ones, I don't remember, but the actual evil plants are those ones. I can't feed you. 
Oh, you like oranges, huh? Okay, well, we might get an evil mower on our side. <laughs> Is that what I'm to understand, evil mower? Or maybe you breed them together and they get... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to I'll have to think about it at some other point. Acorn petals. Yeah, you use them. Okay. Not for what I thought you did. Um, in the old days, I think you used them to make darts because they were poisonous. But now it looks like you make them to use them to make wrapped chocolates. Okay, so the evil mowers aren't rare or anything, so I don't have to bother trying to save them. Anyway, continuing on on the cloud hunt. Another chance cube. Fuck some TNT. <laughs> All right. And that's why we don't do it around our base. So here you go. I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> and continuing on my mission. Okay. So I have found three of the clouds that I need, which I think are the last three. Gold, purple, storm. Gold, purple, storm. The problem is, how do I get there? Uh, and I think my answer is going to be um, really stupid. <laughs> the portal gun, right? Surely the portal gun will be able to safely deliver me. Oh, I think that missed completely to these clouds, unless... Oh, jeez. Alright. I survived that, uh, somehow. <laughs> um, because on will transition, you get a brief amount of invincibility. So, falling out of the aether, um, didn't kill me. Oh dear. But, here's the problem. Home's 420 meters that way. 430 meters. Um, let's blow up this chance cube. Victory. Okay, that one just literally exploded. Fine. <laughs> <sighs> See you guys in the, uh either huh all right i'm back in the either wow wow already getting started hi huh, guys that's a legendary bag up there but we know how useless those are i swear that yeah it is that stuff is slippery that stuff is really slippery so that's why i fell off because <laughs> that that stuff this evil quick soil all right, that stuff is really slippery. We need to we need to get up here somehow, like this. This is a legendary loot bag. Are some of these okay? I mean, that's not bad. And jade, I don't know what I'm going to use jade for, but uh, the rest can go away. So baubles, you go on there, and all this does is picks up experience for you um, in a radius. And you can fill it if you want to keep your experience safe, which I will. Which I will, because apparently I have a death wish. Right, I'm not going to finish this episode until we acquire um, the clouds. So, see you soon. All right. <laughs> hey Rex, what have you been up to lately? I don't know, just feeling a little lost in the clouds. Uh, got some purple cloud, and I see some storm cloud just over there. So I can just wander around on these clouds, which is nice. And they're easy enough to break that I can just take some with me. Um, and build bridges out to nowhere on them, which is wonderful. Uh, so much easier than trying to use a portal gun on them, stepping on some quick soil and getting thrown off into oblivion. Uh, these purple clouds, you can see what they're doing. They're spitting particles in that direction. 
which I think pretty much means that if you ram into them, you'll go in that direction. And I don't want to do that. I also see something right there. And it's good that we're heading in that direction too, because uh, the storm cloud just here is what I'm after. So, let's get that storm cloud, which is hiding just there, and then head up to whatever that is, because I think that's our first labyrinth. Finally, and we might have to be real cheeky. Yeah, Storm Cloud. What do you do, Storm Cloud? <laughs> Can, are you used for anything? No. You just look cool, huh? So you seem to act just like normal uh, Cold Cloud. And I have run out of toast. But that's okay. Right, so you kind of get half buried in these cold clouds. Ooh, you're going to be a problem if I hadn't have spotted you. But you can still, anyway, what I was saying is, even though you're half buried in them, you can still pillar up using them. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Pillar up. Right, yeah, that looks like a labyrinth entrance. That's awesome. Okay, so we may have not got the cloud quest completed this episode, but we did find a labyrinth. Uh, boy, oh boy, is that thing creepy. Uh, I need two clouds. You normally just need one, but it has to be on the same level. Otherwise, you can't get up there. Get out of here. What do I do with you? Do I touch you? You're attempting the Slider's Labyrinth on your own. This dungeon is a very dangerous place and you could lose all your items as a result. Are you prepared to enter these depths? Yes. Bum bum bum.